Thanks, Timmy. <laughs> I am here reporting live from Golden Corral. Well, it, it isn't live, but I am here reporting from Golden Corral. Hey girl, this is actually the worst rated Golden Corral in my area. It has 2.2 stars on Yelp. Now you might be thinking, Timmy, that's not even one star. Well, girl, it's the lowest. And <laughs> I don't care if it's not one star. I'm terrified because some of the reviews mentioned roaches, roaches, roaches girl. Others mentioned black mold in the roof ceiling. And another person even mentioned corn kernels on the bathroom floor. Don't ask me how they got there. They probably came from a very dark, sinister place. And so because I'm a very smart 29 year old man, I'm going to eat here. I'm going to taste test as much food as I possibly can. You guys know I have tried a lot of different Golden Corral restaurants, so I know how it's supposed to taste. I'm going to see if the food tastes correct. I'm going to investigate and we are going to be reading reviews as I eat the food. So it's going to be fun. Now I am in Lakeland, Florida. It's supposed to be a land of lakes, but I don't see any bodies of water. Anyways, before we go in, give this video a big thumbs up if you're enjoying it. It's the easiest way to support little old me. And especially with this video, support me guys. I'm risking a lot here. <laughs> I'm actually scared. Hey King. Oh, that's a big truck. Also subscribe if you're new here. I make food content, fast food, restaurants, buffets. Anyways, let's go eat. <laughs> So when I walked in, I expected to see trash, massive dumpsters everywhere, but guess what? It looks normal. So that took me by surprise, but I'm still going to investigate this. The cashier girl was super nice also, so that was a good sign as well. Now, this is just how the inside looks. Looks pretty average, right? Doesn't look dirty or crustified. I haven't seen any roaches yet. Some of the food did look quite questionable. What is that, cement? I'm not sure, but it looks scary. But I think that's kind of normal for a buffet, especially Golden Corral, you know? Some things just don't look good. And that's okay sometimes. You just don't have to get it. <laughs> Everything looked pretty well stocked. Like there were no like empty bins. I don't know what that is, but we're gonna pretend that we never saw it. It does not exist in our world. They had all the typical Golden Kraut options. And so far there have been no red flags, but as we know, I'm all about flavor. I'm all about quality and texture. So I think it's time to try tons of these items, even the crustified looking dishes. I am here to go through this so that you guys don't have to, okay? Okay, girlies, so I'm starting with an appetizer type of platter here. I made myself a little side salad here. One hush puppy, two pieces of fried okra, <laughs> a big yeasty roll full of yeast, a slice of pizza, and then steak fries and seasoned wedges. This is just round one, okay? This is just the start of our new life. Okay, so I just have to say, first of all, the service here has been phenomenal. The waiter came up to my table. <laughs> yes, I'm good. Thank you. Came up to my table and like checked up on me and like told me where everything was. And he was like extremely friendly. That was him. Wonderful man. A kind soul in this corral. Okay, so first things first, let's try the salad. Now, the salad dressings weren't marked. And you guys know I'm a ranch stand, so of course I'm always gonna go for the ranch, but I couldn't tell which was which. And one of my big issues in life is that ranch and blue cheese look very similar, but one has fungi and one doesn't. So I just had to pick the less lumpy one, and I'm hoping that I chose ranch, let's see. By the way, I got croutons, cheese, and sunflower seeds. <laughs> That's my go-to salad toppings, the most nutritious. Mm, this ranch, I won. Mm, 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 mm. Um, this ranch is amazing. I thought maybe it would taste expired, <laughs> rotten to the core, like a descendant. But it's perfect ranch. It's like sit-down restaurant ranch. The guy behind me just burped really loud. I almost shook my table. I kind of loved it. The lettuce tastes fresh. The croutons are crispy. They're seasoned. They're perfect croutons. It's a great salad. I have zero complaints so far. I think this is a good sign. I'm excited. I'm giving the salad a 10 out of 10. Let's try the yeasty roll. Oh, oh there's a ranch on it. Oh my God. <laughs> it's fine. Oh my God. It's soft. It's fluffy. Look at that texture. Flavor wise, it does just kind of taste like a lighter version of a Hawaiian roll, which I'm fine with. I'm not the biggest Hawaiian roll fan, but they're fine. I think it's good. It's not stale. It's not moldy. I'm gonna give this roll, I think, a nice strong seven out of 10. 
very good let's pause and go through some of these yelp reviews okay so some of them are very scathing and some of them are from a few years ago so there is a chance that things got better but let's just start with some of the tame ones and yes i'm gonna whisper because i don't want to offend anyone that works here i'm not that kind of girl i'm surprised they are still in business they hardly have anything on the bar everything is either pretty much empty or dried and burnt Okay, so this person encountered a Sahara buffet. Now, this one says, All of the meats on the bar were dried out to the point of crumbling. I really wish they would make an attempt to improve the quality versus the quantity. Okay. I mean, I am kind of scared to try the dust meat now, but they might be wrong. Things may have changed once again. Let's try the hush puppy. You guys know I love hush puppies. <sighs> I said that too loud, I'm sorry. Oh, that was the first thing that was a little icky, a little greasy. Can I get you another soda? Um, sure, yes, please. Thank you, you so much. Like? Diet Coke? Gotcha. Thank you so much. Great service once again. We love this. Now, the Hush Puppy is giving oil can. It's giving something that the Tin Man needs. It's so extremely greasy. Like, I feel like the grease is actually soaked almost all the way through. You can kind of see, like, the center of it is a little dry, but, like, around the center, it's just, like, super soaked. Also, it's very cold. And even the flavor tastes greasy. Like, the, like the grease has taken over. It turned this corral into an oil exhibit <laughs> half the time i don't know what i'm saying girl i'm sorry i'm gonna have to give that a two out of ten very bad very weak thank you so much you're welcome fried okra now i have only had this at church's chicken and i never liked it but that that is fast food fried okra now this is a buffet fried okra so it might not be much better but i'm gonna give it a chance That was giving Sinister Plant from a dark realm, like Mordor, or <laughs> it did have a slight rotten flavor. You know when like an onion tastes a little rotten and it gets that kind of trash bag flavor? This had that same aura. It also had a strong oil flavor once again. So there's a pattern happening already with the oil. I'm gonna have to give that a one out of 10. I almost could not swallow it. Steak fry. Oh, I got the chills in my arm. Those fries, once again, have a very nasty oil flavor. Like, the oil just tastes kind of old. Also, the fry itself tastes stale. But I will say, they are salty. They have enough salt. So, at least we'll give them that, right? I wouldn't say the fry was disgusting, but it was bad enough to give me the chills. I'm gonna give that steak fry a 2 out of 10. Now, let's try the wedge. This is giving much more KFC seasoned sazon, you know? I am half Cuban, so. <laughs> that means seasoning. In case you don't know what wait, does it mean seasoning? I don't even know. Mm -hmm. we're on a bad streak <laughs> these fries do have a strong oil flavor which i don't like but at least the oil somehow tastes fresher maybe they didn't soak up as much of the oil so they didn't take on as much of that flavor right they do taste undercooked to me like they have too much of a bite to them i'm just not into you know biting into raw potatoes that's just not a hobby of mine and i'm not saying that that it's totally raw it, it is definitely partially cooked but it could have been cooked for a lot longer because the texture wasn't working for me but the seasoning did come through they definitely have more flavor than the steak fries i'm gonna give the wedges a four out of ten i think that's fair hopefully the pizza is better i have enjoyed golden crow's trashy pizza in the past it's pizza pizza's pizza pepsi's pepsi <laughs> yeah yeah you mm -hmm. this tastes just like their other pizza see it Mm-hmm. Mm. You guys might be thinking, Timmy, you have the trashiest taste buds I've ever seen. That pizza's trash and you're enjoying it? Yes, I am. It's good trash. Have you ever had good trash? No? Then you're a food snob. Let's be real. The cheese is salty and there is honestly a lot of it. It's it's a thick coating. The pizza sauce just tastes like any other pizza sauce, but it does the job. The crust is actually very fluffy, flavorless, but fluffy. So it's a nice texture. I'm enjoying it. I'm gonna give the pizza a nice strong eight out of ten. Oh yeah review time okay this one really made me laugh when i read it earlier what a cheap 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 place i have come to this place three times per week okay golden corral stan love that for you and i always get water with a tiny bit of lemonade to add a lemon twist to my water Ooh, a dough dazim the assistant manager wanted to charge me for the squirt <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry. The assistant manager wanted to charge me for the squirt of lemonade in, in my glass of water. Just lost another loyal customer. Pathetic. Cheap. Okay, so they didn't want to give him free lemonade. You have to pay for that, even though it was just a little squirt. So he's mad. Sir, if you want the lemonade, you gotta pay up. I'm on Golden Crow side with that one girl. Okay, guys, this is one of the cockroach ones. Now, I think this one was from a couple years ago, so keep that in mind, because I haven't spotted one roach in here yet. It actually pains me to give them a bad review. I have been going there for over 10 years. These people really love their Golden Corral. And the last three times that I went there, I was made aware of their growing roach problem. I was sitting down at a table next to the wall and saw a roach on the wall. <laughs> then I picked up the napkin holder to move it and another roach was under the holder. I informed the manager and he said they had just sprayed for roaches the day before. Okay, fine. I decided to try again a month later, figuring that it was not a huge deal as many restaurants face challenges and they quickly take care of them. Well, this time there were roaches on the buffet. I called the manager over and he said again, they had just sprayed the day before. Wow, really? Now I feel like a fool for giving them another try. Never again will go in there. Wow, I don't blame them. Listen, if that is the truth, that's an issue. <laughs> I think it's time for round two. I'm gonna get some entrees and some sides. Ooh. Okay, guys, so I got a grilled cheese. I had no clue the Golden Crown served grilled cheese. Then I got some bourbon chicken, which I've never tried. Some barbecue chicken, never tried that either. We got a chicken tendy, hot roast, which actually looks amazing. Meatloaf, black eyed peas and rice, and mac and cheese. And now this, guys, this is a chicken liver. I've never eaten a liver from anything. A chicken, a cow, nothing. And it's fried, so... That might make it, you know, a little less livery. I was actually so nervous to film this video, but I'm feeling so chill now because the food so far hasn't been horrendous. I've just been extra paranoid about, you know, getting sick because a couple weeks ago, I didn't tell you guys, but <laughs> I ate a lot of Elvita. I'm talking a couple bricks. <laughs> I wish I was joking because I made like nachos, right? And I put a lot of cheese in there. The Velveeta did something sinister to me, something I've never experienced. It was coming out of every single exit for days. Well, this exit was one day, but then down south was about a week. So Velveeta really impacted me in that way and it kind of changed my life. Thank you so much. You're welcome. But like I said, we are conquering fears today and we are eating everything. everything. Let's try the chicken tendy. Okay, that's how it looks. Oh, what is that? Who is she? Get off of there. Was that a piece of chicken liver? Possibly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> it's so bad. It reminds me of a fast food tendy. Something from like Dairy Queen or like Checkers, you know. It isn't amazing, but it gets the job done. It's a little too salty, I think. And the breading, once again, does taste a little bit oily, but not like nasty oil, just like oil. But I will say they're cooked to perfection. Like they're actually quite moist. So that's good. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna give the 10 game 6 out of 10. They're cute. Okay, mac and cheese time. So I've actually never had Golden Crow's mac and cheese. I've always been scared to have it. I think I may have told you guys this story before, but my sister was out with her friend's family and they went to Golden Crow and they got the mac and cheese. It had the same impact that the Velveeta had on me, but I think way worse. She came home covered in little specks, specks of, you know. And she always said that it was because of the mac and cheese. So Hannah, this is for you, girl. <laughs> Let's try it. I don't. Okay, it's down, but okay. Once again, got the shivers. The noodles are fine. They're they're noodles. A noodle's a noodle, right? But the mac and cheese sauce itself tastes like I can't believe it's not butter with a cheese sauce texture. First of all, I can't believe it's not butter. Who even is that? If you're not butter and you're honest about the fact that you're not butter, tell us who you are. I don't like. I can't believe it's not butter's flavor. I think it's nasty. And this tastes like a thickened version of that, just all over noodles. So I will not be having another bite of that ever again in my life. I can't believe it's not. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a joke. I can't believe it's not cheese. I can't think of a joke. Oh my God, I'm glitching. I can't believe it's not who I thought it was. That's better. We love that. I'm gonna give the mac and cheese a one out of 10. Horrible, disgusting. Let's try the pot roast. Never had Golden Crow's pot roast. It's very tender, like it's fork tender. It falls apart. I had to clean the fork. Um, the texture is actually fantastic. It's so tender and moist. So at least it's worth something in life, possibly. It's not a complete failure. This is my third cup of Diet Coke, by the way. <laughs> but the flavor is not giving. 
it tastes like a Vienna sausage. Now, growing up, we didn't have a lot of money. So back in the day, to me, Vienna sausages were a delicacy. They were the pot roast I never had. The lobster I always wanted. But now, as I've grown up, Vienna sausages, I just can't do them. I can't do the flavor. I can't do the texture. And this flavor really just tastes exactly like a Vienna sausage. Because of the texture, I am not going to give it a one because the texture is very nice. I'm going to give it a nice three. A three. That's fair. Okay, black eyed peas and rice. Just like peanut butter. Okay, I'm not mad at it. <laughs> okay, Mr. Planter. The rice does taste like processed, like 90 second bagged rice, like zero rice. But it's not bad. It just tastes processed. The black eyed peas do taste like peanut butter. They taste like pinto beans with a very nutty flavor. And I don't hate it. I think it's weird, but it's different. I kind of like it. I'm gonna give the black eyed peas with the rice a five out of 10. It's cute. Let's try the grilled cheese. Never had a golden crowd grilled cheese. It's a lot of cheese. Okay, Ellen. Okay, generous. Mm, it's pretty nice. First of all, the bread is nice and thick, very buttery, very toasty. And the cheese is like, I think it's American cheese, if it's nice and thick and simple. And to be honest, that's the only cheese that should be in a grilled cheese, American cheese. I don't even like American cheese, but in grilled cheese, it's like iconic, right? So that's a great grilled cheese. I am very satisfied with that. I'm gonna give it a nice strong nine out of 10. Yes, ma'am. Let's try the bourbon chicken. Now, the last time that I ate here, everyone said, Timmy, next time you go, you have to try the bourbon chicken. So here I go. Not bad. It's just very salty. Kind of brown sugary. There's a fermentedness to it. It is definitely made from chicken thigh. And typically chicken thigh is very tender. This is not that tender. I feel like it's a bit overcooked possibly. But hey, that's better than undercooked at the worst rate of Golden Crow, right? I feel like that's a win. Give me the rubbery chicken. I think that it would pair very well with rice because it is very salty. So it could, you know, salt up the rice and give it some flavor. It's a little sweet, a little tangy. It's fine. I'm not amazed, but it's fine. I'm gonna give it a nice five out of 10. I think that's fair. Oh, sorry. <sighs> Smell that? I'm just kidding. Sorry, that was so gross. Let's try the meatloaf. The thing about meatloaf is that sometimes it could be the best thing you could ever eat in your life, and sometimes it could be the nastiest thing in the world, right? That's just how meatloaf is. It depends on who is making it, what they put into it. The girlies that put raisins <laughs> and oats into their meatloaf, I'm sorry. You should change it up. Put some Ritz crackers in there. Those are good. Oh, what's that flavor? Oh, it's pretty good. Oh, mm. It's kind of giving. The sauce on top kind of tastes like SpaghettiOs, but it kind of works. Growing up, I loved SpaghettiOs. I don't eat them now, but on a meatloaf, it works. You know what? Replace the oats with SpaghettiOs. Problem solved. <laughs> so we kind of love the sauce. Um, the texture of the meatloaf is on point. I feel like it isn't too tough, but it's also not too mushy. And the flavor is like a pretty simple meatloaf. It doesn't taste like it has like random things in it. It tastes like there's some breadcrumbs in there, some eggs, a little bit of cheese, a little bit of mustard, a little bit of ketchup. I'm here for the meatloaf. I'm gonna give it a nice seven out of 10. Pretty good. Review time. So this is another one that has to do with roaches. One word, roaches, all over the buffet. I notified the owner. Oh yes. You do a food thing on YouTube. Yes, I do. I knew it, cause I see you. I, you see me? Oh yeah, cause I watch it all the time. I watch those reviews and stuff. Oh my God, it's amazing. Like, Thank I'm you so much. On, with a movie stuff. Oh, you're so nice. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> the waiter knew who I was. That's so nice. Love him. Is he gonna see this? Oh, I feel bad. Well, listen, I have praised him the whole time. He has, he has been amazing. And the food, nothing's been too bad. Okay, besides mac and cheese. One word, roaches. All over the buffet. <laughs> Not me reading this right after that moment. Okay. One word, roaches. All over the buffet. I notified the owner and he poured hot water on them. <laughs> Which caused more to crawl out of the buffet? Okay. Next one, this is the corn one. Disgustingly dirty. I've been to many Golden Crows in my day, all the way from Ohio to Utah to Florida. This one was disgusting. Food was overcooked. Steaks on the grill also overcooked. Food incorrectly labeled. But the real kicker was the condition of the restaurant. The bathroom was absolute filth. We're talking corn kernels on the floor that were already attracting ants. That means it's been there a while. Listen, if you ever see corn kernels on a bathroom floor, you know where they came from. We've all been there. Corn doesn't digest. So mind your business and walk away and then go and order some corn on the cob. Um, why is this video turning out to be so much fun? I was so nervous for it, but I'm having a grand old time. Okay, let's try the barbecued chicken. I'm just gonna take off a chunk with my fork because I don't want to pick this up and get all nasty when I'm all hooked up to my mic, you know? Okay, we got a chunk off. Wait. That's absolutely decadent. It's really delicious. 
Let me tell you, the barbecue sauce is like the perfect barbecue sauce. It's very tangy. It's a little bit sweet, but most of the flavor is coming from the chicken itself. It genuinely tastes like super barbecued. It has a really char grilled smoky flavor to it. That's really delicious. So I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. Is that the first 10 out of 10 of the day? I would totally get that again. So it is time for the, oh wait, the chicken liver. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot about it. Subconsciously, I wanted to avoid it. Like I said, I've, I've never had a chicken liver in my life. It is giving heart Valentine's Day. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, be brave to me. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I'm sorry. This is probably just a personal preference. Listen, if you like chicken livers, these might be amazing chicken livers. I just don't know if they are or not. So as you guys know, I used to live in Kenya for like a year and a half when I was like 11. Long story. But there were a lot of street vendors, right? And a lot of them would like cook different parts of the meat. And I think that they would cook like different things like livers and things like that. And this tastes like how those smelled. And it really brought me back. It's a very gamey, rich flavor that I'm not built for. I'm built for... <laughs> Dainty pot roast mac and cheese. Oh. So I'm gonna give the chicken livers a one out of 10. I'm sorry, I have to be honest. Anyways, let's read one last review and then get dessert. Okay, this one's from 2018, so it's very old. So take it with a grain of salt, okay? The grammar's a little messy, so just bear with me. Very dirty smells like mold after looking up at ceiling. I know why all vents covered in black mold. Don't even know why they pass inspection at this place. Everything salty or no taste at all and very overcooked. If the kitchen is anything like the bathroom and sitting area, they should have been closed down already. Oh my gosh. Believe it or not, I forgot to... <laughs> I forgot to look up at the ceiling to check for mold. I don't know why or how I forgot that. What's wrong with me? I'm sorry. Okay, so this is my little dessert plate. I am very full, so I'm just trying a couple things. We got the chocolate pudding, which is kind of giving jello and it's giving lumpy and bumpy. And then we got this, this pie. I'm not sure what it was. I think it might be a banana pie or something. And then I got this mocha cake. Does the frosting not look delicious? Like that color is kind of serving. And then we got the sweet Carolina something cake. <laughs> sorry, it kind of flipped over. It did a cartwheel. She's a gymnast, but it has like cherries on it and vanilla cake and some sort of whipped cream. So we love this. Guys, a group of bro men just sat in the booth over there, like next to me. Nothing intimidates me more than a group of like guy friends. <laughs> Let's first try the chocolate pudding. Mm. For some reason, it tastes even lighter than your typical boxed pudding, which is very odd because you would think they would just use like the same type of thing, like a boxed pudding type thing. And they probably did, but it just tastes weaker. Maybe it's a little diluted. I feel like it could be a lot more chocolatey and a lot sweeter. And it's just very, it almost has a watery flavor, but a thicker than pudding texture. I'm gonna have to give that, oof, a three out of 10. Let's try the banana pudding pie, whatever that is. Oh, wait, that's coconut. Tastes like a pina colada, thickened to the point where it could stand firm as a pie. I do like the crust. The crust tastes kind of shortbready. I'm just not the biggest coconut fan, but that's a personal preference. So that's not a fair critique. You know what I mean? If you like coconut, I think you will love this. It's a, it's a typical coconut cream pie and there's nothing wrong with it. The texture is fantastic. It's so fluffy. Mmm, oh, it's kind of growing on me. I just really love the crust. Give me the whole crust right now. It's like the best shortbread crust. Mmm, mmm, mm. Oh my gosh, so good. You know what? If I was a coconut fan, that would be like a nice 7 out of 10. So I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 to be fair. Let's try the flipped over California, no, Carolina, Carolina cake, whatever. I'm a big cherry stand. I love cherries, like cherry pie and everything. Mmm, that's, mm, that's strawberry, girl. I like strawberry too, but not as much as its sister cherry. Are cherries a berry? Because they don't have berry in their name. But I always think of them as a berry because they fit right in. They're like red, plump. I love the strawberry sauce. It tastes real fresh. The cake is genuinely super fluffy and it's a very simple like pound cake angel food vibe whatever you know but i really love it oh it's all so good thank you so much you know what this is this is strawberry shortcake <laughs> why did i not realize that but they just called it carolina something to make it sound fancy i'm gonna give them sweet caroline strawberry shortcake nine out of ten it's very delicious last but not least we have mocha cake and so mocha means like coffee right i like this Mm. It's a very, very, very light coffee flavor and a very light chocolate flavor, but it works. Like the lightness of the flavor really enhances the texture for some reason. The texture is very moist. 
and then the frosting is a little sweeter so it balances out the cake itself i'm gonna eat the whole mocha cake guys hello that's a 10 out of 10 that is actually delicious i'm not even a coffee fan coffee bean who is she perfection that was a great ending to the video what an adventure that was well, that turned out to be a fantastic experience. Let me just say, I truly feel like the food was at the same level of quality as the other Golden Corral locations I've been to. I think that a lot of those reviews were probably outdated and they have really fixed things up. And let me just say, this is the best service that I've gotten at any Golden Corral. Actually, better than most restaurants, girly. Give that man a raise. If anyone from this Golden Corral is watching, he was wonderful. He was so kind. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I had the best time. Subscribe, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you next video. I love you so much. Bye.